hello welcome to my channel uh, so today in this video we will discuss about the growth kinetics of fed by culture uh, in my previous video uh, i have briefly uh, discussed the about the growth kinetics of uh, beige culture so what is the uh, feedback culture so feedback culture it is the uh, uh, culture we add nutrients before the start of the process uh, as well as during the process of cell culture okay so let's consider the uh, growth kinetics of food based culture and sub substrate utilization in food based culture okay so who is introduced the term food based culture so yoshida yamen and uh, nakamoto uh, who are uh, who were introduced the term of food based culture and describe the batch culture which are uh, fed continuously uh, or sequentially with medium without the removal of uh, culture fluids so next is uh, in feed by culture uh, predetermined amount of growth medium for example for example it is uh, uh, 250 ml of growth medium that okay, is initially added to bar reactor containing the microorganism that is the standard volume is 10 to 6 cell per ml so now in this uh, what is different between the batch culture and uh, feed batch culture so the main difference is uh, in batch culture uh, the medium remains constant throughout the fermentation but in uh, feed batch cultures uh, we additionally add the nutrient or substrate okay uh, in incrementally over time okay so the feeding of nutrients in fed by cultures uh, serve several purposes first is nutrient optimization okay which is the most requirement uh, parameter for the fed by culture as well as in the batch culture and continuous culture so first is nutrient optimization uh, that means we providing a continuous or intermittent supply of nutrient Uh, the culture can be maintained in the exponential growth phase for extended period okay so this allow for higher biomass production and increase the productivity compared to the batch culture okay now the second is substrate limitation control uh, so in this sub substrate limitation control the feeding strategy can be designed to prevent the depletion of critical nutrient or substrate that may be limit the growth of microorganism that means critical nutrient for example if we consider the here uh, n growth so the n growth contains nacl pepton yeast extract okay so critical nutrients are uh, pepton okay so we have to add or feed uh, critical nutrients for internal or uh, internal time so by carefully in controlling the feeding rate okay and substrate limitation can be minimized so we can uh, control the feeding rate of nutrient uh, uh, intermittent so uh, substrate limitation can be minimized okay leading that's leading to the improved cell growth and enhanced production of desired metabolites or products now third is waste product removal as we know that uh, all microbes are produce the uh, waste products in certain fermentation process the accumulation of waste products can inhibit the cell growth okay product formation so removal of waste product products through appropriate feeding strategy the culture environment can be optimized our productivity can be increased so now the uh, we discussed about the feed strategies so first strategy is variable volume feed batch culture okay in here in this variable volume feedback culture so you use the same medium okay which you have used to establish the batch culture and edit okay so what will happen increase in volume right so it is increase in volume we just add the same medium okay in uh, uh, interval time okay so this is the medium for example medium volume 250 ml okay this is the particular uh, end growth okay so in end growth the composition as earlier described pepton 5 g per liter nacl 0.6 g per liter and yeast extract 3 g per liter okay so now uh, in time okay interval time we just add the nutrient 
okay just we need the same nutrient which is used in veg culture so for example we add 50 ml okay nutrient at specific time that means every 24 hours so here it is the one uh, one strategy is that variable volume feed veg culture so you can see here that 250 ml to 300 ml that means the medium will be increased okay so you have uh, see here the, the size of the medium okay in visualize image you can see here the 250 to 300 ml okay so next just uh, strategy for uh, feed veg culture okay so take the solution of limiting substrate okay limiting substrate that means the factor okay otherwise you can say the critical substrates okay critical substrate okay so keeping concentration same as it was initial medium okay so concentration is the same for example is a uh, 5 g per liter in initial medium composition so you have to select the limiting substrate for example peptone and the concentration should be 5 g per liter okay and then add it again so tell me the result is it increase in volume yes exactly okay so here is the medium 250 ml then nutrient growth composition so it is here it is the peptone is a limiting substrate Okay, so introduce the pepton 5 g per liter at same concentration as we used in patch culture. Now the we add the uh, interval period of time and we add the 50 ml. Okay, rate is same in first strategy and second strategy. There is a 50 ml and 50 ml every 24 hours. Okay, so what you see here this in picture that. 250 ml to 300 ml that means the concentration uh, that means the volume of the culture it will be increased after the interval okay that's why we call the variable culture medium okay now the uh, third strategy it is the intermediate fed based culture so in here it is the uh, we use the uh, concentrated solution of limiting substrate is to be added but rate less than number 1 and 2 strategy okay so limiting substrate you know that the limiting substrate as is uh, it is the pepton okay. so same 250 ml medium then add and growth okay but here the concentration okay substrate concentration it's very okay in previous second strategy strategy that is the uh, 5 g per liter okay here it is the pepton concentration increase 7 g per in liter okay now the interval time that we uh, add the uh concentrated uh, substrate okay so here we add into the uh, medium uh, every 24 hours its volume is 30 ml okay so here the slightly different of volume size okay so but less rate is the less than number 1 and 2 okay so in number 1 and 2 strategy we apply or we employ the 50 ml of whole uh, concentration of culture uh, sorry concentration of substrate okay but here we just add very concentrated pepton 7 g per liter okay so here increase the concentration on let's uh, substrate uh, substrate limited okay so critical substrate uh, we just uh, increase the concentration okay the volume is uh, declined Okay, decrease the this is the thirty uh, ml. Okay, now uh, fixed volume feed batch culture. So this is the fourth uh, strategy of fixed volume feed batch culture. So in this uh, uh, this culture, very concentrated solution of limiting substrate, that means the pepton, okay, is added, but it rate less than the strategy one, two, and three. Okay, so the here it is the medium two fifty ml. then add the end growth but here pepton is limiting substrate as you know okay introduce the pepton 15 g per liter that means the highly concentrated concentrated compared to the strategy 1 2 and 3 okay so interval of time we add the uh, only the sub, uh, uh, critical substrate that is the pepton okay and the uh, volume it is the one ml only okay so red less than strategy 1 2 and 3 so here we just add one ml at specific time okay for example 20 minutes 
so here this medium is the same why is the medium is same in this uh, scenario because you just add one ml okay and in the uh, broth that contain the organism will reproduce and they directly uptake the substrate okay so the volume is uh, not differentiate but just the same size okay now the variable volume fed by culture okay so uh, we discuss the uh, variable volume fed by culture okay the uh, the kinetic of variable uh, volume fed by culture so developed by the dunmore and part okay so in here uh, consider batch culture in which growth is limited by concentration of one substrate okay the biomass any point in time will describe by the equation so x t x 0 plus y s r minus s bracket clause so where x t is the biomass concentration after time okay t is hours and x 0 is the inoculum concentration now the final biomass concentration produce when the final biomass concentration produce when the s is 0 s that means substrate when the substrate is 0 then you calculate the you will calculate the final biomass concentration okay and we uh, describe the x max and provide that x0 is small compared with the x max okay so x max is equal to proportional to y in, into okay so in variable volume feedback culture the substrate concentration changes over time due to the addition of fresh medium okay so the growth kinetics in variable volume fed batch culture is to consider the specific growth rate as a function of the substrate concentration and the culture volume okay. so it is the growth kinetics in variable volume fed batch culture the specific growth rate mu okay is function of the substrate concentration and culture volume this is a okay so that's why we uh, denotes the specific growth rate mu substrate concentration s and culture volume v so here it is one possible equation to describe the growth kinetics okay so dx upon dt is equal to mu bracket s okay, v into x okay so where dx upon dt uh, what is the represent the dx upon dt is the changes uh, biomass concentration with respect to time now the mu as you know the mu is depends on the substrate and volume okay so it is the depends on specific growth rate which is a function of the substrate concentration and culture volume and, and x will represent the biomass concentration after a particular time okay now the uh, fixed volume feedback culture so the fixed uh, volume feedback culture so here it is the culture volume remains constant constant okay compared to the variable volume feedback culture okay so throughout the fermentation process the culture volume remains constant the substrate is continuously added to the system okay however we add the substrate is continuously added to the system uh, okay then the culture volume should be remain constant this allow for higher biomass production compared to the batch culture okay in here there is the fixed volume feedback culture uh, you get the higher biomass production okay in batch culture okay so batch culture is a different that we uh, where no addition substrate is uh, supply after the initial inoculation okay so describe the growth kind of fixed volume fed by culture okay we uh, equation it is a dx upon dt is equal to mu bracket s into x so dx upon dt as you know that that is the represent the uh, biomass concentration with respect to time mu is the specific growth rate which is function of substrate concentration x represent bar okay so in fixed volume feedback culture the substrate concentration changes over time obviously that is the happen due to the continuous addition of fresh media okay. so the specific growth rate mu s can be described by various models such as monod model okay so here we discuss only monod model by the uh, uh, calculate the specific growth rate okay so one uh, common uh, equation of monod model it is the mu s is equal to mu max into bracket s okay over slash the bracket k s plus s so mu max is the maximum specific growth rate of the microorganism okay mu x is the substrate concentration k is the model mono constant okay that is the represent the substrate concentration at which the specific growth rate is half of the maximum 
सो सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द मॉडल इक्वेशन इन टू द ग्रोथ काइनेटिक्स इक्वेशन ओके डी एक्स अपन डी टी म्यू एस इज इक्वल टू डी एक्स अपन डी टी म्यू मैक्स एस प्लस लेस के एस प्लस एस एंड एक्स ओके इन टू एक्स सो हियर दिस इक्वेशन डिस्क्राइब द चेंजेस इन बायोमास कंसनट्रेशन ओवर टाइम इन फिक्स वॉल्यू फैडबैक कल्चर ओके सो हियर इन दिस इक्वेशन वी कंक्लूड दैट दी बायोमास कंसनट्रेशन it will be changed over of time but the volume is fixed okay in feedback culture okay so specific growth rate is influenced by the substrate concentration that is the obvious it is the fact thing when you increase the substrate concentration then growth rate it will be increased automatically okay so here it is the uh, feedback culture okay thank you